all my people from Texas, check this out. ERCOT just announced that you should definitely conserve your energy this entire week from Monday through Friday because they're going to possibly be having blackouts. Renewable Energy Advisor, Luis Angel, right here with Ryzen. Let's jump right into the story. You see, Texas grid operator, boom, they are saying that there are many power plants right now, power generation facilities that are going offline. Now, they do not know the exact reason for that. The majority of them, about 80%, are from natural gas burning uh, power plants. As you see here, they're saying it's very concerning the number of outages because they can't really pinpoint what it what the reasoning for that is. Now look, I know it's getting very hot. It's hitting like 99, 97, 98 in Dallas, in Austin, in Houston right now, in Texas. So all my Texas peeps, um, I know that you guys are trying to use the AC. I have, I'm in Puerto Rico right now, so I have the AC. I experience power outages here regularly as well. Um, and we're gonna be experiencing them a lot more frequently throughout the next few months. So please conserve as much power as you can uh, to try to help out with the system. But at the same time, it's not really your fault that this is happening. It's more ERCOT's fault. Like they should have planned for this. I mean, they they already went through this. You guys went through this in February where with those winter outages, and now we're gonna experience them again in the summer. And now, come on, come on, Erka, you got, you gotta really step up your game here. You're saying that yeah, we're gonna we have more power consumption right now than we've possibly ever had, and we're gonna break records. But also turn on the Weather Channel, man. <laughs> I know it's not that easy. So on both sides of the equation, I'm I'm kind of joking around here, but on both ends from ERCOT's perspective and for the consumer's pers perspective we have to find a way to resolve these issues we should not be going through this every single year now check this out approximately 12,000 megawatts which is a lot of electricity of generation were offline monday now that's enough electricity to power 2.4 million homes that's a lot that's a lot that's millions of people without electricity possibly during these outages. Let's see what Warren Lasher, who's ERCOT's Senior Director of Systems Planning, had to say about this. He says, I don't have any potential reasons for the plant outages that I can share at this time. He goes on to say, it is not consistent with fleet performance that we have seen over the last few months. It's breaking records. Here's something else, about 9,600 megawatts of power, about 80% of them, of the outages, are coming from thermal power sources or gas-fired power plants. That's a lot. That's a lot coming from one source. We're, we're relying on one source. We really need to diversify our, our energy generation systems. We cannot just depend on one source because if one source, if we don't have enough of possibly natural gas coming in to be able to run these plants, then look, Look what's happening. People are going to continue to use energy. People are going to, especially on summer days, hot summer days, when it's 90, over 100 degrees outside or close to 100 degrees, those ACs are going to be blasting all day, all night. So we're too dependent on one source and we don't diversify. We don't add to that. More solar, more wind, even other legacy fuels such as oil. We need to add that as a balanced approach to tackling this power outage situation. The previous record for June uh, was back in 2018, and that was 69,000 megawatts consumed. On Monday, it was expected that we were going to exceed 73,000 megawatts of energy consumption. That is a lot. Here's something that ERCOT is urging the residents of Texas to do right now, and that's to raise the thermostat to above 78 degrees, turn off any lights that you're not using, uh, pool pumps that you're not using, avoid large appliances such as ovens, washing machines or dryers turning off or unplugging unused electric appliances. So all of this, which yes, we need, we need to wash our clothes. We need to, but I, also if you can shift that to different times of day when it's not at peak time. So between, you know, four to 9 PM, if you're, if you are wanting to wash uh, your clothes between that time, try to shift it to possibly um, or between 12 to 4 p.m., somewhere around that range when people are, are at work or people are out and about and they're not using that electricity. That way you can help shift that. Now, ERCOT is saying that they're not going to do any planned outages in regards to this. So um, it, if anything, it could just be a random brownout or blackout that occurs where too much electricity is being consumed and the power generation plants, they cannot produce enough to keep that balance threshold um, afloat. So 
it can just be a forest blackout in your region or area. So if you are, if your power just goes out, that is a reason why. It's because they cannot keep up with the demand right now. For all my Texas peeps, brace yourself. It's going to be a rough summer. If it's starting this early on, it's going to be a really rough summer. So we all have, I'm getting, I'm in Puerto Rico, so I'm bracing for this myself. That's why I'm getting my solar panel system set up here, my battery pack system set up. So if you can do that to help yourself so that you don't face these issues, I would highly recommend it. Go out and find some, some nice systems around your area. It doesn't even have to be a full blown, uh, you know, 14 panel with the Tesla power wall. You don't have to spend 20 or $30,000 to help you out during these tough times. Even if you get something small, a small generator, and they have these like small uh, DIY generators where you just plug in the foldable panels. Um, you plug them into the generators and boom, you get, you get free electricity. I'm about to install some of those in some local organizations here in Puerto Rico to help them out during these times. So if you can do that, um, that will help you out a lot because then you can plug in your fridge, your stove, your electric stove if you have one. Um, you know, so Charge your phone, charge your laptop, keep your Wi-Fi on, to keep your router on, things like that. Um, and that will help you out during these times. But yeah, it's going to be tough. Get some fans. You can, you know, help out any way that you can by lowering the, or raising the temperature on the AC units. Do that. But I also understand. Look, my, mine right now is at 80. Um, <laughs> but if it starts getting hotter here, I'm going to drop it for sure because, uh, you know, I, I can't do I can't do just 80. But I understand it both ways. So let's all do whatever we can to help out here. All right. This is Luis Angel signing off with Ryzen. And I will check back with you 